Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And I am back today to do another book review for one of the finalists of the self-published science fiction contest. The first book I have finished is Night Music by Tobias Kebrell. This was one where I did not know what to expect going in beyond that they were going to be going to Mars. And it's a very interesting story. It's a shorter novel. So I went into this story not really knowing what it was about besides that we have a pilot who goes to Mars. That's okay. I don't mind not knowing a whole lot before I get into a book. So we are following Seth, who is a pilot who is training to go to Mars on a mission. This is not exactly near future, but close to near future where society has changed. The privatization of space or commercial space is more of a thing. And there is a private consortium that is going to Mars doing research. They've established a base called Zubrin Base. And Seth is going to be a pilot on the next mission. However, something has happened on Mars and the people at Zubrin base, they can't get a response and they don't know a whole lot. All of a sudden it looks like clouds have developed on Mars. And this isn't just because of dust storms. It, it looks like things are happening. And so this mission becomes more of, instead of going to further science and exploration, it becomes more of a rescue mission. They're going to see if the people at Zubrin are still alive, and if so, evacuate them, and find out what is actually happening on Mars. Now, the author made an interesting choice when he brought Seth into the meeting that this is going to get discussed. He kind of mentions some of the people who are there, leads up to it, and then you don't get to actually see the meeting. You get Seth's like rundown of what that meeting was after the fact, which is an interesting way to handle that. And usually I see those meetings are used to establish who people are, who will be further characters down the road, but the author moves away from that because that is not his focus in this story. I would say that the focus of the story is more wonder and what could actually be out there. You could really call this an interesting first contact story. Now we find out pretty early on that Seth likes classical music and then we find out later that his mom was a cellist and so also learned how to play music and that explains like this is why he likes this type and why he's more attuned to listening to sounds to pick up things that, oh, that, that sounds like music. Seth and his crew obviously arrive at Mars. Seth and a fellow pilot, Nadia, get permission to go down and explore to the base to figure out what's going on. And I think the choices that the author made really, again, goes back to this story is full of wonder. What if? You know, possibilities. Now, I would say that there's more emphasis on in the story of the wonder of going to Mars and finding out what's happening and how it's happening versus characterization of the characters. You get little snippets kind of makes them more archetypes of characters because that is not what this book is really about. It's not about the characters. The characters go on this journey. It's more about the science and this possibility of this first contact. So pro for me, I like it when authors obviously have researched their science. I do think that in some places it got a little over the top, got a little wordy, but this is more characterized as a hard sci-fi. So that's all the science that you're getting is there for a reason. A con for me is the characters didn't feel like they were fully fleshed out, fully developed. Like I said, you get the interactions with one another and it's about what is happening in that moment. There's not always a sense of there's more underneath the surface. Now on the reverse side of pro is the characters, 
they work well together for what you do get of them. You can tell that this group has become a good team, especially since this is not the original group that was going to be going for the science mission. Now that it's a rescue mission and what the hell is going on, but you do get to see that with, even with their personalities, they get along with one another. There's not a lot of backbiting and arguing. They hold to their purpose. They all have accepted it, that this is the purpose of the mission. So you're not going to have anybody go try to be a cowboy and run off and solve things on their own. They are working still as a group. And I think good science, you have people who work together. A con for me is the length of this story. I think that this would have done fine as a novella and had the start happen as they got to Mars. I think a lot of that could have been just told as like, you know, a quick backstory of this is why they're here, this is the purpose. Because the really interesting stuff was once they got on the Mars and what was going on. I don't think we needed the before information as much. And I understand he was doing it to kind of establish us with Seth, but I think that it still could have worked well bringing that story up. So I think the story started way sooner than it needed to, and the story could have been a novella. Now, of course, as a novella, it wouldn't have been eligible for this contest. And then a pro, which I can't say much about because it kind of spoils things, but the interaction with the first contact and everything they discover on Mars, I found it really fascinating. And that's why I say is where Cabrel really shines is the wonder in his story. And I would love to see more wonder from him in the future. I really enjoyed this. I understand why it's a finalist. If you have read it, I would love to know your comments down below. Thank you and have a great day.